In a previous video, I made mention of perfect popcorn, and I can do perfect popcorn all on the wood stove. And since YouTube won't let me edit that out, here we are. I also had the idea previously of doing videos of things that I do regularly. It occurs to me that many things that I do on a daily basis are completely foreign to most of my viewers. Well, I'm embarrassed to admit how often I eat popcorn for dinner. Today I'm going to show you some secrets I've figured out on how to make perfect popcorn. While we're at it, I'll show you how I do coffee on a regular basis. Hey folks, thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel where I'm exploring life free from the shackles of society. Life is a lot more fun over on the wild side. I've been having two problems with my perfect popcorn. One is not getting enough butter to stay on it, and I've got an idea for that. The other is that it's only popping about half of the kernels, not popping all of it like it used to. But I'm okay with that because I have this problem with not being able to stop eating popcorn. So if I'm only making half as much, that's for the best. This would be a good time to show all the things I use for popcorn and coffee. Popcorn kernels of any brand, it just matters that they're fresh. I don't know why dried out popcorn needs to not dry out but I've noticed it makes a difference so white or yellow doesn't matter the brand just as long as it's fresh corn oil butter something to melt the butter with and fine salt now as far as coffee this is not a perfect coffee demonstration this is how I like to have it and there's many ways I enjoy having it there's French press coffee, there's siphon press coffee, modern siphon press, 1930s siphon press, cold brew, home brewed cold brew, coffee on the beach with your horse, coffee for marketing, coffee with faces, espresso in Italy, my first ever espresso in Italy, oh wow, latte in Italy, coffee on the go, coffee on a fire, coffee with complete strangers, Brazilian pea berry, expensive coffee, extremely acidic coffee, drip coffee, coffee with donuts, coffee for Christmas, coffee with breakfast and a fine looking dame, iced coffee at work, coffee with pie, and many, 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 many more. So it really comes down to personal preference. This one's mine. I had to switch to organic coffee. I've noticed it makes a difference. And yes, I love over roasted Starbucks coffee. You gotta have a cool cup. Mine is a hand painted Polish design. Pour overs move through the coffee so quickly and French presses take too long and cool off. So I like the clever press. It takes a paper filter and you just put it in like that. And then you add your coffee and water and it sits there and brews until you put it on top of your cup. Plus you got a lid for it to keep it hot, unlike pour over. So that's my way of doing it. <clears throat> so get yourself a nice big pot. Second, you use corn oil, not vegetable oil, not canola oil, not butter, not olive oil for sure, but corn oil. I gotta keep it on its side because for some reason it's got a hole in it. So if I put it upright, it leaks. Make sure there's just enough to cover the bottom. You don't want it to pull up in the bottom because then it'll deep fry the popcorn that pops first and you don't want that by any means. What you do want is basically a film of oil covering the bottom enough to heat up those kernels. While we're waiting for the oil to heat up, we'll go ahead and heat up the water for the coffee too. I've got something really different to try for today's coffee. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Have you ever seen coffee with chicory in it? I've been buying it lately. It's cheaper than coffee and it doesn't have caffeine. That way I can add it roughly half and half and drink twice as much coffee without ruining myself. But it grows everywhere. Some people consider it a weed. So the other day I dug up a root and dried it. So now I'm going to cut that up and roast it and put it in my coffee. It doesn't take long to dry sitting above my wood stove. So high, though I oh crap. Hey, 
Uh, I was just uh, singing along to one of my favorite songs while I turned this into small enough chunks to grind. Which I've mostly done here. Now they're cut and I'm going to put them into my grinder. I got a little carried away. Wasn't supposed to grind it before I roast it. Alright, so I should have roasted it first. I don't know what to do with the powder. But I'll try this. So I gotta stir this fire up for the popcorn and for the roasting. It's gonna get hot up in here. Yeah, I'm smoky. As we wait for the chicory to roast, let's get back to our popcorn. I'll just sit back and listen to some more Sophie B. Hawkins. I mean, Dave Stamey. We've reached that critical point when the oil has smoke coming off of it. So now what we do is coat the bottom of the pan with kernels and then cover it. And that was the tricky part. This is where you gotta watch out that you get enough of it popped that it was worth your while, but stop it before it starts to burn. Cause I don't know about you, but once a few of them kernels burns and smoke gets in there, it just ruins the whole batch. That's such a potent smell, you can't get away from it. Hear how it's slowing down? Well, it's not halfway full, but like I said, that's okay. Cause it's easier on my stomach when I don't eat a whole pot full of popcorn. I'm gonna call it quits so I don't burn it. Oh boy. So the butter's melted. But when you melt butter, you see it separates. I think there's a whole bunch of water in here. So what if we boil the water out and then apply it to the popcorn? Maybe the ratio Maybe the ratio will be a whole lot better of butter to water to popcorn. Okay, this butter has been going at a rapid boil for about five minutes and its contents level has gone from up here down to about here. That means a lot of water is gone. So I promised perfect popcorn and then I go to experimenting. We'll see if it ends up being perfect. But the normal perfect popcorn, you'd just have high quality butter, melt it, and put it on. But I always want to make it better, so let's see if it works. All right. This is great when you got two people, but I don't. So I do it alone. Now the key is to hold this hand high enough that you don't bump it with the pot because that's annoying. Hmm. Remember, that's an entire stick of butter. Now that it's got butter on it, that's when you add the salt because the butter is sticky and holds the salt in place. Whew. Now you taste it. Hmm, too oily, don't do that. But it's still good. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy this while I wait for that to roast and I'll be right back. Ah, <sighs> okay, that was good. Now it's time to finish up this coffee. It's mostly black now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind it up. Grinding, grinding, grinding. Keep that coffee grinding. This is not... <clears throat> so I'm going about one-third non-coffee and two-thirds coffee. Now don't hate on me. I used to grind my own coffee. I've got a nice grinder, but just got tired of it. So I have them grind it for me there at the store.
I only let it brew for about 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Depends on if I forget about it or not. And I use heavy whipping cream. I make my coffee strong and my creamer. I'm going to call that good. Just like that. Homemade chicory coffee substitute additive, whatever you want to call it. One more thing I won't have to buy on a regular basis. Oops. Well, I could have played it safe with that popcorn video, but that's just not my style. I had to go and experiment with the butter. Well, I guess it's good to know that it doesn't work. The coffee was a big deal though. I'm really glad to finally have roasted the chicory root and applied it. So I look forward to doing more of that. Coming up next, I got another overnight at my camp where I'm gonna change up how I used my bed and I'm gonna change up my tent design to one that I've used in the past. After that, I plan to do a night or two wandering these hills and eating wild edibles for the majority of my food for that trip. And after that, I plan to start doing horse trips for two or three nights at a time. Thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for subscribing and liking and commenting. And I'll see you on the next one.